Hey, what's up guys? John here. Janet Yellen is proposing a global tax on all corporations to prevent them from moving, especially corporations leaving America, thanks to Joe Biden now increasing or attempting to push forward this increase of corporate tax from 21% to 28%, so roughly a 20% increase. Companies are going to places like Ireland with a 12.5% tax rate. Amazon, nearly a trillion dollar company, paying 12.5% tax, so half of the U.S. tax rate. Then we have in Ireland, we have Pfizer and Allergen, in Canada, Burger King, in Belgium, Budweiser, in Switzerland, Perina and Nestle, all these companies that service America, but now American jobs are gonna be outsourced. Big changes are happening right now. And in this video, I'm gonna break down exactly how this whole thing is gonna affect your life and this whole new climate bill that Biden is proposing, a two plus trillion dollar bill, is gonna be supported by Janet Yellen's proposal. So this is really something that's gonna change the entire economy and the way that we live. So that being said, please smash that like button. It helps share this content. And the more people that see it, the more people that are educated about what's really going on. So please smash the like button, let's begin. So here's what I think happens, but first, her proposal. CNBC this morning, April 5th, today, Yellen to push for global minimum tax on corporations. Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen will call for a minimum tax levy on corporations around the world in an effort to keep companies from relocating. Yellen will tell Chicago Council on Global Affairs Conference that establishing a minimum global tax rate will help bring stability and provide a more level playing field for all countries. Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen on Monday will call for a minimum tax levy on corporations around the world effort to keep companies from relocating to find lower tax rates. We are working with G5 nations to agree to a global minimum corporate tax rate that can stop the race to the bottom. When she says a more level playing field, what she means is she wants to price fix corporations so corporations can't shop other countries and consider, hey, I'll go over here and I'll save 10%, save 20% in tax. And because of that, let's level the playing field, aka raise everyone's corporate tax, and then from there, then we'll have even more power, more control over your business, your life, your company, and everything that you do is gonna to have to come through our approval because you'll have no other option. There's nowhere you can run. Yellen told Chicago Council on Global Affairs in prepared remarks, together we can use global minimum tax to make sure the global economy thrives based on a more level playing field in a taxation of multinational corporations and spurs innovation, growth, and prosperity. The remarks come as President Joe Biden looks to raise corporate taxes as a way to pay for his $2 trillion infrastructure plan. Under the administration's proposal, the tax rate would climb to 28% from 21%. That increase would come just four years after former President Donald Trump slashed the tax rate from 35%, which at the time was the highest in the world. On top of increasing corporate tax, Biden continues to push for a $15 an hour minimum wage. President Joe Biden re reaffirmed his support for raising the federal minimum wage gradually to $15 an hour on Tuesday. This is article is about five, six weeks old. While he acknowledged that increasing the wages could squeeze some employers, he pointed to economists and studies that said the impact would be minor. Plus the president argued it would help those stuck at minimum wage, which has been 725 since 2009. No one should work 40 hours a week and live in poverty, Biden said, but it's totally legitimate for small business owners to be concerned. Then you look over here. If the Biden administration gets $15 an hour minimum wage implemented within four years as planned, expect cashiers to be phased out within four years, pretty much everywhere. $15 an hour is roughly $30,000 per year and 40 hours per week. Tesla can make self-driving cars for less than $40,000. i am sure a self-checkout kiosk is much cheaper than that and works more than 40 hours per week. And we've all seen the Miso Robotics, this technology. This, you can rent for $3 an hour, $3 an hour, or you can buy them for as much as twenty dollars to $30,000. It can flip burgers, make chicken fingers, can scrape the grill. It can do everything. One reason the Trump administration cut the corporate tax was the rash of U.S. companies offshoring or moving their domiciles to countries with lower corporate tax rates, even though much of their operations happen domestically. 
Yellen will tell the conference that establishing a minimum global corporate tax will help bring stability and provide a more level playing field for all of the countries. Competitiveness is about more than how the U.S. headquarters companies fare against other companies in global mergers and acquisitions bids, Yellen said. It is about making sure that governments have stable tax systems that raise sufficient revenues to invest in essential public goods and respond to crisis, and that all citizens fairly share the burden of financing the government. Companies that also have been incentivized to hide revenues offshore, something the Trump tax cut also addressed by adding a reparation incentive. The Biden plan would call for an increase in the offshore rate to 21% from 10.5%. How are corporate taxes defined? Well, corporate taxes are collected by the government as a source of income. Taxes are based on taxable income after expenses have been deducted. So what that means is if they incorporate AI, robotics, look at Tesla, a lot of their cars are built with robotics, look at Amazon, they have hundreds of thousands of these machines that move packages across warehouses and distribution centers to get ready for shipping. And they're not the only ones. A lot of large corporations have robotics. Now they're being incentivized to find taxable deductions so they can draw down their income. Employees don't do that. So they can actually depreciate them like work vehicles. When you buy a work vehicle, you can depreciate it as a tax write-off. The same is very true with robotics. So essentially, this whole new system and structure is there to, unfortunately, remove many jobs. And that's how they're incentivizing corporations to do just that. I think this is ultimately going to be one of the hardest times to be a small business owner. If we really take a hard look at what's happening, it's going to be the clampdown on small businesses. Corporations, yes, they're going to get taxed. It's going to be unfortunate for them, but ultimately they're going to have more of a monopoly than ever before because they're not going to be competing with as many small mom and pop businesses, especially if they're going to increase the minimum wage almost double. With that being said, it's going to give them more market share, more power, more authority over our everyday lives. This is something that, you know, it's a pros and cons for them, but ultimately for us, it's just one big downside. So with that being said, taking a hard look at the economy right now with PPP loans, stimulus, unemployment, low interest rates, all these things propping up the market right now, you take away any of those things and then you're gonna to start to see the truth of where we really stand. You add in 1% interest rate on top of these near zero interest rates that we have right now in the housing market, you'll start to see the housing market start to fall apart. So we are stepping into a period of transition. This, in my opinion, is the best time to pay off high interest debt, to save as much money as possible, to increase your credit score, because in times of depression, banks look at cash and credit. They are very careful about who they lend money to, and they don't want to lend money to a risky borrower. So really get ready, because something big is happening, I believe. I think something's going to happen probably the next 6 to 12 months without question. This is really just a very uh, change. It's a very big change in the way that we're going to be seeing the economy and our everyday lives. So with that being said, please drop your comments below. What do you think about all this? Also, please smash that like button. Help me share this content. Consider subscribing for more content on personal finance, business, real estate, and of course, money. All right, guys, see you in the next video. Hey, if you'd like to learn how to get started on YouTube, click the link in my bio. It's a free live training. And if you'd like to learn how to invest in cash flowing multifamily real estate for beginners, there's a link there as well. All right, guys.